I'm Senior Canine Officer Richard Howell with the Department of Game and Fisheries, and we're just finished up our first session of canine school here at Bear Creek State Park. Um, it's a nine-week school, and it is three, broken down in three sections, three weeks in, during each session. So during the first three weeks, um, a lot of it was information primary for the handlers to learn about how the dog works, how his nose works, how scent is affected by terrain, temperature, and humidity, and then training tasks for the dog to introduce him to tracking. For instance, day one, you know, handlers are a little nervous. Dogs, you know, they're, they're not trained, so they're kind of running in circles and lead control, and um, you know, the, the handlers want to do the right thing. But so the first day a little nervous and they work out all those those kinks and today they finish mile tracks. So the handlers have really progressed, their lead control is better, how they read their dog and knowing their dog and watching its nose, its, its body language of what it's doing has really increased over the last three weeks. So I really jumped on the opportunity. I really want to get into the community with Grace and get her out to these public outreach events, get her in the schools, um, to the community that I was born and raised in and really help um, and answer questions for anybody that may have them about what we do with our agency, what we do as conservation police officers and what Grace is capable of doing when she is, you know, officially trained. My Grace is a little ball of fire. She's the youngest one here, and when we get to that track line, all she has in mind is getting to the end of it and finding whoever or whatever. We've done puppy tracks. We've graduated from the puppy tracks onto box tracks and chair tracks, and out at the airport, we've had 20 plus mile an hour winds raining sideways and blowing at us. So we are just prepared and training for all climates here. Our dogs are gonna be prepared to go out wherever we need to, uh, to find whoever we need to. So every track that we do is documented um, digitally, you know, video cameras, GoPros, etc. Um, that is a great learning tool for us. We sit down every night, we watch the daily footage, and that just being able to see yourself and your dog working and throwing negatives and knowing your dog is very key to success in this program. Each dog is different. So Working with your dog is something that takes a lot of time. You have to have a lot of patience, but just knowing the end result of the caliber of dogs that these are gonna be, it's totally worth it. You gonna go by me? Yes, you are. So Reese is a chocolate lab. She's about 14 months old right now, and she's a bundle of energy. She's an absolute sweetheart. Uh, and coincidentally, she shares the same name as my daughter. So my daughter was super, super excited, first of all, when she found out I was going to become a canine handler, but she was doubly excited when she found out that they share a name. So, Tons of energy. Uh, one of the things we've had to work on uh, in our home is for her to understand the difference between at work and the drive that being at work requires uh, to work a track. And uh, when she gets home, we want her to relax a little bit so she can function within our household. Uh, we have an eight-year-old chocolate lab already uh, in the household, so he kind of helps to ground her and to settle her because he's more acclimated to being in a home. Um, I had zero idea how much work and how much attention to detail it takes to be a canine handler. Uh, there's so much attention uh, that you have to devote toward proper line handling. I found with Reese very, very quickly that if I don't handle her line properly, I frustrate her very quickly because she's very high drive and she wants to get to the end of that track. Um, if I'm pulling too hard, she gets frustrated, she wheels around in the harness, tries to bite the lead. So it's, it's really, uh, you know, Officer Billings said that it's like a ballet dance, and it really, truly is. So I'm learning her, and she's learning me, and we're learning how to dance together. These countless hours we're spending together, I'm learning what Reese's negative is, and I'm really, really getting in tune with her, actually, in, just in the last 48 hours, 
we've really, I think, started to hit our stride to where the last four tracks that I've run with her, we've, I really think we've been nailing it down really, really well. So hopefully that'll continue after our two week hiatus here. You know, just tearing it up, but every once in a while I'll give a full scop. If you do a turn, Courtesy do a nice, nice Courtesy. kick in. Yeah. Um, but we have to do is we have to space them out. So if you go in and you go this way like this, and that's where the first comes in the 90, you're gonna start getting a lot of contamination. So running a, running a canine for the game department is really rewarding. You get involved in a lot of different things, a lot of different cases. You get to work with a lot of different officers, but also you get to see your, your dog progress and learn. And then as a handler, you learn on everything you do. Every track is different. Um, the terrain, the temperature, all that stuff affects the dog. And so it, every, time it, every time you run, whether it's training or live, it's gonna be a learning experience. Now I just think all the dogs, you know, the, the handlers wanna be perfect, um, but they're right where they need to be for three weeks. You know, they always want to keep pushing, but they, they're right where they need to be for this first three-week session.